Every week we try and take you beyond the scores and highlights with our segment we call Wired. Mark Freund is the man behind these great stories and he joins us now. Mark? Yeah, John, Lincoln is all about its south side pride and that's not just a saying, it's a way of life for the rail splitters. Now the football program is trying to make sure its players know just how generational that south side pride runs. Lincoln's pregame walk from the Roundhouse to Hutchins Stadium is easier, knowing that there are others that paved the way. One of the main things that I've wanted to do since I got into the program here a year ago was have a, a strong connection to our alumni. Head coach Dwayne Mathis wanted each jersey to the left, Friday, in a better place. Hey, email me, you can send me a letter, whatever you'd like to do through snail mail or email, doesn't matter, we just wanna hear from you. Alumni sending letters to the player wearing the same number they did. Alumni, the sights, the smells, the sounds, the sensations. Like Tom Lipovac. I'm a member of the 50th graduating class from Abraham Lincoln High School. I wore a Ralph Splitter jersey number 10. 50 years later, my memories remain vivid. We were the boys of fall. I hope that my coaches and teammates would say that in 1972, number 10 was a team player with a coachable spirit, a relentless competitor who played with the heart of a champion. The years go by so quickly. Cherish each and every moment. Good luck this season and every season of life. Tom Lipovac, number 10. Alumni write, but it's the players who read. <laughs> Damani Wesley wears number 45. I graduated in 2009. Grew up in the South Side my entire childhood. You're at part of a team that needs your full effort and hard work each and every day. If you think people don't believe in you or your team, it's some way you prove them wrong. Make your family proud and your team proud. Everything will play out on its own. Be proud of where you're at and where you're from. There will be a final day you wear that Vegas gold helmet. Everyone wants to be proud of you, so give them a reason. Bye. <laughs> I'm still thinking about it right now. Like, it hit hard, yeah, because he's basically showing what I wanted to be when I grow up and show the legacy that I want to have. Just hearing those words of somebody who's really supporting us and who talks about the same stuff that our coaches are talking about now, um, it's just, it's really a great experience. It's very inspiring. Messages the rails carry into Football Friday. Some letters are long, some letters are brief, I mean, but the overarching theme amongst them all is just how special, you know, putting on that uniform was. And Lincoln was back at home against East, battling for the brand new Battle for Southeast 14th Street Trophy. Scoreless in the second quarter, here comes Lincoln. Javon Sanders up the middle for the touchdown. It's 7-0 Rails. Then late in the quarter, Lincoln trying to add one more score. Jackson Lamb deep downfield to Charlie Fucalaro. Hauls it in, called down at the one yard line, just six seconds left in the half. And Sanders will punch it in again from the one. Lincoln up 13-0 at the half. The Rails go on to beat East 26-8. But John, back to those letters for just a second. Coach Mathis says he's received over 100 letters from alumni. He says it's like a Christmas present every time he gets one. The team will read those letters every Thursday at team dinners. Talk about extra juice going into game day at work tonight. Yeah, great story once again, Mark. Love those letters. And, uh, man, good win for Lincoln as well. They're, they're fired up. Yes. All right, Van Meter has won two straight titles in Class 1A. Bulldogs jump up a class this season, but the Dogs are still ranked number one. Home opener tonight taking on Des Moines Christian. And one cool lineup note, both starting kickers are female. Katie Lindsay of Van Meter and Gianna Bennett of Des Moines Christian. First quarter, the Bulldogs go to the air. Austin Baumhover hits Kale Trudeau down the sideline, got it into the end zone. Van Meter out to an early 7-0 lead, but it's not just offense for the Dogs. They can play defense too. DMC going deep. Rhett Plegencool says, no, no. Picks it off and then Plegencool turns into a return man. Breaking tackles down the sideline. 
finally steps out of bounds just inside the 20 yard line. Ensuing drive, it's more through the air. Baumhover hits Jackson Hanselman for the touchdown. Van Meter picking up right where it left, left off last season, 56-17 over Des Moines Christian. Class 4A, third ranked Norwalk at home taking on number eight, Indianola. Opening play of the game, Warriors going deep. Aiden Harder looking for Eli Robbins. Got him, big gain in Indians territory down to the 41, but the defense shuts it down. Wyatt DeWitt, back-to-back -back sacks, forces a punt. And back come the Warriors though, Harder looking deep again. Kyler Rodman wide open in stride, all alone and he is gone. Just gonna jog into the end zone, 80 yards. Norwalk strikes first. Indianola's defense trying to keep him in it. Jack Hilton's gonna pick off Harder, but not enough. The Warriors take down Indianola 21-14. Fifth ranked ADM on the road in Winterset. Second half, Huskies breaking free. Hank Wilmus, the long run, 63 yards. Down to the two yard line, Huskies punch it in one play later, making it 28-13. But back come the Tigers, Aiden Flora. He can run too. He's gone 74 yards the other way. That makes it 35-13 and ADM, one of the top teams in the state. They win it 49-27 over Winterson.